I'm Eric the Trainer, and welcome to Celebrity Sweat. On today's show, the team is hanging out at one of my favorite places, the ETT Mecca in Hollywood. We're going to start off with Billy and Jake, who are working out with a few of the metropolitan fashion models of Los Angeles. After an awesome workout, we're ready to walk the red carpet with Brett Bauer as she talks to some celebrity friends at our SB after party. And then Jake is back in the gym talking fitness and food with some of today's top athletes. All this and so much more coming up next on Celebrity Sweat. Welcome back to Celebrity Sweat. I am Jake the Trainer. We are here at the ET Temeca. I am here with Tybo creator, Billy Blanks. How you guys doing? Now we are here today with the Metropolitan Fashion Models of Los Angeles. They are incredible people. Now today they're going to be showing you guys how they stay in great shape all year round. And Billy, you ready for this man? Are we ready, ready to kick I'm these guys butt? Uh, this is going to be awesome guys. You can get a chance to see what these guys do behind the scene and get in shape. Five, six, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, One six, more time, go. Eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six, seven, eight. Good, that's helping you slim the waist down. Now, take your left leg, pull it in front. Right leg to the back. Almost like a runner's position. One, two, three. Boom, boom. One, two, three. Boom, boom. One, two, three, go. That's it, go. Go. Get your hands up. Now, we're going to have you guys get on all fours for this one. I'm going to be on all fours. One, other side, one, two, two, three, and three, four, four. Good. Five, five. We're going to be working that booty a little bit more. We want to shoot our leg nice and high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nine. 10 and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now whip it. We are here with Metropolitan Fashion Week. Billy and I just had an unbelievable day today with everybody. People forget, they think that being in fashion is very glamorous. Mm. It's That's just the end product, mm. but to get there, it's the fitness, it's the um, the meals that they eat, it's the sleep that they get. That's what makes the product. The amount of work that a model, male or female, has to put in in order to take those 60 seconds on a runway is insane and my hats off to any model who actually w wants to come in, into this industry and yep. do it well mm. and the ones that do I mean they just they excel so so rapidly they have to really work out very hard sweat every day mm -hmm. to look the way they look so they can shine on the right way and you work directly with them and you show them the technique how does that go about I do well I mean I like to think of models as like any other athlete you know you yeah. come in you train you make sure that you have the best technique and if you always keep that mentality when you do this you're never gonna go wrong and so how do you keep them from not getting away from that. <laughs> well, sometimes it's hard because once they get out on the runway, it's like, I mean, I hope you can just do it and remember that. It's, I, but I think also it just comes down to like, again, any athlete, you train, you train, you train, you make sure that you always stay in that mindset mm. of business oriented and have your goals set. And that usually never leads anyone astray, especially when, within this industry. I'll just add also like with Metropolitan Fashion Week, one of Eduardo's big things is that he wants everybody that works uh, with Metropolitan Fashion Week, that they're part of a family. There's no divas, there's no star. Everybody, the star is the clothes. The stars are, are not the models, the stars are not the, uh, the it's the designers and their work. Mm -hmm. That's the star. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Let me hear y'all count. Go. One, two, three, four. Hey guys, my name is Andrés Mejia Vallejo. I'm from Medellin, Colombia. And the food that I love, that I should not be having is pizza. Hi there, my name is John Marco Dine. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and the food that I definitely should not be having is two Wendy's spicy chicken go wraps, the side of the nuggets with the swirly sriracha dipping sauce, and the fries all running for $7.99 at Wendy's. Thank you so much. 
How's it going? My name is Angus Stout. I'm from Minnesota. The cheat meal that I love to eat but shouldn't is Pizza Hut pan pizza. Double pepperoni on the side. You know, you gotta have that. My name is Frank Erova. I'm from Finland, Europe. And the shoot I should not be having is cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. The Oreo cheesecake. That's the one. Yes. Five, six, count to beat. One, go, 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 go. Hi everyone, my name is Kaden Darty. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and my meal that I should not be eating is a whole waffle with speculoos, cookie butter, chocolate syrup, chocolate chips, whipped cream, and a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Bertio Ganesian, and my favorite cheat meal is ice cream. Yes, ice cream is a meal. <laughs> my name is Sarah Greenan. I'm from Santa Clarita, California, and my favorite cheat meal are Burritos from El Pollo Loco. Yes. I eat too many. Hi, my name is Catherine Pegova. I'm model, actress, and dancer. And my cheat meal, I don't have it because the celebrity is wet. I can eat whatever I want to. Oh. Yeah. So we saw some floor work. We saw some boxing. We saw it all. You guys be blessed. No stress. We'll check you out later. See you next time. Hey, Rip Rower here. We are downtown Los Angeles for the after party for the SP Awards, and I am with Eric, the trainer. What's going on? I am having so much fun. The SPs were so exciting. You know, we always try to talk about the three, the elements of change, exercise, diet, and sleep, helping people get a balance in their lives so they look and feel their best on camera and off. It's a blast. And I am with the one and only JB Smooth. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? You know what? I'm so jealous because I did not put on my fancy suit like you. Hey, you didn't have a chance to do it, but it's all good though. I'll throw a little something more tonight. So what is something you got going on? Like what's something you got working on the pipeline for you? Oh, this is amazing. We're season 10 of Kirby Enthusiasm. Yeah. And then right now, if you're uh, a big Marvel fan, the Marvel Universe, the boy JB Smooth is in the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Far From Home. It's fabulous. You're going to love it. What is one thing that you do to kind of keep in shape and have a healthy lifestyle? You know, I eat well. So, I mean, I, I, I'm 62. I used to train to compete. Now I train to get older. And it's all about our temple and taking care of it, just like putting the best oil in your car. So you're on the show Ballers. How has that been the experience for you? Well, come on. I'm working with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I have a lot of laughs with him. I have a lot of respect for him because he's a wonderful actor and he has a heart as big as Texas. He's a workout fiend. You seem like you, you keep in great shape. Is there something that you do to keep a healthy lifestyle? I know that's one thing we bring here with Celebrity Sweat. Throw the weights around. I, I keep up with my uh, wife, who's a mountain goat. She loves to hike, and so I go with her and doing that. I am with Tyrone. What's going on, Tyrone? Not much. I'm just here with the Celebrity Sweat family, you know, giving back to the community. I just support anything they um, put together. Well, we appreciate your support and we also appreciate your awesome suit. Now tell me, where did you get this and how, what motivated you to get the suit? I had a stylist by the name of Deontay that's a beast in the streets and he brought it to me and I pointed and I said, that's it. What got you into martial arts? Man, that's a story. I'm going to write a book. But for me, I was bullied as a kid, as an immigrant. And uh, get this, I learned how to fight by playing a video game. Next thing you know, I was doing all these cool moves and I got so good, became a black belt. My sensei told me I should become a, an athlete. A, Fighter. You don't meet many females that are football players. What is one thing that you do for training? So I train like an NFL player. Uh, my coaches have me training with only men. So I'm out there doing ladder drills, I'm out there pumping weight with guys, um, I'm out there throwing medicine balls, running miles, doing treadmills. Everything that you see the NFL players do, I do. So I try to have that edge. <laughs> She's on fire! <laughs> I love Celebrity Sweat. I love what it stands for. I, I just, they always look out for me. Flag football game last year. I'm always a part of their events. So, how has everything been on the set with Ballers? Everything's been amazing. It's a lot happening with my character this season. Ooh, I, I smell drama. Tell us what it was like for you at the Super Bowl. Oh, it was a blessing. It was a great feeling. Um, it was a feeling that I've dreamed about ever since I was like five years old. But what's something that we don't know about Nikhil? Um, Something that you don't know about me, I love fishing. I love fishing. I'm a fisherman. Uh, that's what I love to do. It's right here. Come on. JB's like, I didn't approve this. We are here at the Celebrity Sweat after party for the ESPYs 2019, baby. Doing a baller's thing. Baller's suit. 
This is a baller's recap. We're going we're gonna to show you around and see what we got going on. We at the Palms right now. Palm Steakhouse, downtown Los Angeles. We got Marcus. Uh-oh. Baller alert. My fault. Baller alert. Doing it. Hey. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we got JB Smooth in the building. Doing it. The smoothest here in Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got Bruce Buffer. Do you see this? And Chris McDonald. She just took a picture with me downstairs. She need to stop that. Look how she just held my hand like that. Toes, the toes white, the nails are white. It's a beautiful day. It's SB night. The white toes. Get the white toes right now. Okay. Uh-oh. We got a champion. We got a champion. We got T Wood in here. And this is crazy. We got beautiful ladies doing raffle tickets. What are y'all raffle tickets for? We're doing raffle tickets for the homeless. It's amazing. Yeah. It's for a cause. We're not just up here eating and having a ball for nothing. Celebrity sweat yeah. really makes a difference. Let's go. We got the The, the Laker era is over. It's Clipper time. A Super Bowl champion in the house. A real baller. A real, damn, is that what that is? Oh my God. Is that what that was on your finger all this whole week? We really appreciate everybody coming out here and supporting Celebrity Sweat as we start the sixth season of Celebrity Sweat. So make sure you check us out. What's up, guys? Jake here. I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. It's a great cause, Midnight Mission. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, everybody here should know that uh, any contribution that you guys make tonight, it, it makes a difference. Uh, you know, you change one person's life. Uh, that's that's really all that matters. And. Uh, Keep drinking. <laughs> we stand for very much a give back property. So just so you guys know, if it's not the military, it's the homeless. This year it's also breast and ovarian cancer research with TJ Martell. We have some TJ Martell people here tonight too. For every meal that you guys are eating tonight. Last year we fed 10 more homeless people. This year for every meal we're feeding 20 more homeless people. to us. If you are in this room, you're either a member of our family or a very, very talented person that we admire. Thank you so much for everything that you do and pass it on. Thank you. Cheers! Cheers! For Vinyl Protein, thank you! There you go. You had it. That's how ballers do a party. You're doing this for the homeless at the palm. Exactly. We're here, man. Sweat. Celebrity Sweat. Hit that Look how long he hit that Roy Jones. His arms are almost the same as, as long as yours. He gonna oh, hit him? you. Now. Yes. Is he? Yes. He hit your chin. <laughs> he hit your chin. <laughs> what are you reaching though? As soon as you come in, he boom he. Uh, he in your head because you ain't you ain't protecting that chin. Mm. You gotta bring your hip. You gotta bring your hip with it. Or what your you power mean? not coming. Whenever you throw that one, your hip gotta come. You throw this one, and then you throw that one, your hip gotta roll with it. Did you say it like that? Yeah. Your hip always. I, I ain't gonna have no power right here, but if I turn my hip, it's just like if we tackle it, we gotta bring our hip. But now it's just boom. Or well, you this way, so it's gonna be boom. Yeah, so I'm right handed, right? But I box but what, you ball? You ball softball. Most people go this and here, but you go. Nah, I like I like this way. I, I'm a coach. Nah, nah, I'm not. I don't box. I can't. Yeah. No, no, no. No, I'm just saying. Look, I'm trying to be. Look. I don't box. I just I just act like I know what I'm doing. This way. Oh, this way. Yeah, that one. That shit weird. That shit weird to like. If you jabbing with your left hand and you gotta go across your body, you gotta bring your hip or you don't have no power. Actually, let me try this one. Yeah, that's that's gonna be your regular way. Yeah. So now your left hand. So this is gonna be one now? Yeah, that's one. You wanna see me go, go. So I'm gonna, this is, this one, this is one. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna do it. Okay, we're doing one that way. All right. I'm saying though, if I wanted to get my body like an actor's body in 14 days, yeah. how do I change that with just my diet? So the diet goes hand in hand with the, with the stuff that we would do here. The stuff that you guys do and the stuff that I'm used to doing as well, it's all performance based, which is great. Nothing wrong with that at all. But there's a little bit of a difference with performance and just specifically shaping certain areas. Like if we, let's just say, you know, for the, the main thing that guys like us would look for on a camera roll would be broad shoulders into a super small waist, you know, having a kind of a, a broad shape. Yeah, Whereas we would kind of focus on things, just upper body mainly, not saying no legs at all, but more body weight for legs so it kind of tones them out, keeps them nice and lean, mm -hmm. building yeah. out the shoulders a little bit so it looks makes you look a little bit wider, building out the upper lat so it gives you that kind of V upwards v. shape, you know? Yeah. And then it, everything else kind of just fills in. But the foods you eat basically go hand in hand. It's like me giving the wrong gas to a, a car. Right. You know, it's gonna, not gonna, it's gonna perform, but it won't be as that that same level that you right. normally would get performed. Right, you can't at. put 87 in a Ferrari engine. That's right, Shit. man. You know, that's right, but I mean, the train, what, what kind of training do you guys normally go through? I mean, you guys do a lot of power stuff. I do more training. power explosion and speed rather than like yeah. super heavy. Right. And then like, right. you don't need that anymore because like, you just putting too much pressure on your joints and all that. So I don't need like three plates, four plates on bench press, and but I do need power and explosion if I want to jam somebody exactly. right. yeah. and throw them off, the, get off the block. Right, and off the line, you guys gotta have that first step. Is I mean that first step's explosive. So I mean you, yeah. you guys used to that 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 quick kind of right away. At, you know, right when you hear that that whistle go, it's bam, get ready to go. You know. Yeah. Whereas it's a little bit different for, for the training. You know, for just the look because they don't have that 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 need to be as explosive. You know. Yeah. Right. Michael B. Jordan went from skinny to freaking hand. Yeah, yeah, how do you do that? I mean, we work, like, we work with his trainers too. I mean, he's a, he's a hardworking dude, but he just, he went into crazy diet mode. I mean, the leaner foods, not, I mean, staying away kind of from red meat, more and more egg whites, because egg whites are basically no calories, and you just get the protein from them. Right. So egg whites, a lot of chicken, ton of fish, but more than, more importantly, he just got the sleep that is boy, the only time. Is yo, Man, right? I know he looks great, right? <laughs> but, but, but he slept a lot. Sleeping is the only time the body physically changes shape. Right. So if you get person A and person B, person A works out 10 hours a day but sleeps one hour, person B, they're the same, same, say, same yeah. body type, right? Mm -hmm. Person B works out for one hour a day but sleeps 10 hours a day, mm -hmm. same guy, the person B who works out less and sleeps more and looks so much better. Yeah, yeah. They always put more that's why, that's why yeah, Coach always telling us to get rest. Like, but, but get off yeah. the field, get rest, yeah. get off the field, get rest, get off the field, get rest. Okay, if I'm in the gym eight hours a day, we're ready, you know? Yeah, yeah. Bring it that's true. Yeah, the body, yeah, when the body gets that rest and it could sleep, it's like, oh, okay. Because of what, the HGH and stuff Everything and all just, that? I mean, all the right. body, they just, it just re-regulates yeah. differently. The whole systems get all, all differently, you know, organized. But they all work together. I ain't gonna lie, I can work out, I can train, I can do all that. But when I'm rested, I'm my best self every mm -hmm. time. Yeah. When I'm rested, I'm my best self. And you guys Even if I'm, too, field, huh? whatever, yeah, if I'm on a football field, whatever, yeah. If I'm on a football field, if I'm in the classroom, whatever. When I'm rested, I feel like I'm the best in the world. Like, like yeah. if, I, if I, I can work out all day and overload myself, and I feel like I'm getting better, but if I'm not rested, I just don't feel good. Yeah. And what's a normal night of sleep look like? How many hours do you guys normally get? What? Six, six, I, I well, do I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting a healthy eight, eight or nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. harder though, because yeah. training camp, training camp, you might not get, you might. You're not getting it. You might not, not get it in training camp. You're not going to get it in training camp. at 11 o'clock. I'm getting to bed at 11 o'clock. Are you going to try? Because you got more more workouts and stuff to do? Meetings. Meetings. Meetings and stuff. Yeah, I feel like for the most part, like to the regular person, they look at just athletes in general, but football players, like we just go out in the field and we play football and we, it's all fun and dandy, but like we put in a lot of work. Uh, yeah, and, and but the, the thing work. is, no, they, 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 people, they see you guys work out and practice not, and, you know, when you're not playing, but they see mainly is what's happening during the games, you yeah. know? Yeah. But they don't see all the hard work the that you guys put in the off season, you know? The, right. the, the mental game, yep. the physical game, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. It's not, it's not only one or the other. We have. We have both, right. and then a lot of times people look at us like, like we not like we incompetent or stuff like that. But you have to understand the playbook. 
You have to also understand a lot right. of stuff. And then you have to study film too, which yes. is which is which is a whole classroom in itself. Definitely. You know what it's I'm saying? Lot, I feel like it's a lot of stuff. Like they say you're going to practice, not work. Yeah. That's something that always irks my nerves because mm. I'm like, this is my job. Yeah. Like I can get cut God today, good. tomorrow, and yeah. like, nobody would care. And y'all got the same, y'all go to work just like me, but maybe mine is just in a short span, but I still have to do it all year long. Yeah. Right. No matter when right. I stop working out, like I don't stop working out. Right. I have to yeah. keep working out. My body doesn't look right. I can't go into training camp yeah. and miss, mess up the conditioning test. Right. And now I'm like, yeah. Out of a job. Right. right. That's, the same, that's the same thing. If you're not if you're not fit for the role, then they, you like you yeah. said, you can be cut anytime. So I hear you. So yeah. Staying stand healthy is like our main. Is like that's our main money source. Like that's what all our money going to is just staying healthy, staying healthy, staying healthy. Our body, right. what we eat. Yeah. All that. All that goes. All that's like one. It's like a. It's like a connected train. Like one can't go without the other. Yeah. You feel me? Like I can't sleep without eating good. I can't. You know, I can't sleep good without eating good. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, it all, everything marries up with each other. You know, so if everything, if you can get everything to connect well, and and have that little, have that nice little flow, have that nice little rhythm, eating good, uh, balancing out your um, your health, and on top of that, sleeping well, and just doing the right things with your body. You know, like little things, getting pedicures, manicures. You know, just grooming yourself Thank into you. the into yeah. the man that you want to be until that that season start. Because when the season start, like your time is consumed, yeah. it's compressed. You, you, you meeting everybody else's demands. You meeting the, yeah. the coaches, the owners' demands, but when you're on your off season, it's like our time to get right, our time to, to really uh, focus on self and just get some real good rest in and, yeah. and, and get some good eats in. For sure. Yeah. So when you guys are watching film, breaking down after games or, or practicing and stuff, do you guys see certain things, okay, I, I could do that better, let me work on that today. You guys, do you guys ever have that? Yeah. kind of just, yeah. okay, today I'm focusing more on agility day? Or no. Is it, more, is, it, is it just more kind of compound exercise where you do certain things that, that require, you know, it's kind of both. Yeah. Thing, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of both. We, we, we're going to attack our, our own weaknesses right. because that's obviously key in the NFL. But like also we getting better too. We also getting stronger, faster at the same time. You know, I'm going to work on my strengths and I'm going to, you know, get, you know, bigger, stronger and faster at the same time. And that's where you become a pro at. You know, um, right. that's the difference between being a collegiate athlete and being a pro. A pro gonna make sure he do cover all his cover bases. All, like yeah, cover all the bases. Cover, yeah. Leave yeah. no stone unturned. That's a good I think I think now being in the league is more of a mental game. Like everybody yeah. knows that you're an athlete. Everybody knows that yeah, you're good right enough. Up, yeah. You're in the league now. So it's all about your mental preparation, being able to go into the film room, gain that knowledge off the off the last film that you just uh, created. So from that game, as soon as the game is over, you're probably gonna watch the film, which I do. I watch the film right as soon as the game's yeah, over. Yeah, get it, it, especially yeah, yeah, get it, you, <laughs> you, play, you wanna you know what's going on, and then you're gonna watch it again with your coaches, then you're gonna watch it again to see where you guys made your mistakes and where you need to clean it up. Right. Because if you're not trying to clean it up, you're not gonna get better yeah. or progress. That's a good point. So it's Agreed. like, the people who don't watch it and people who like I don't care about it is like you're not progressing then you're just you're just holding your team back because you don't want to get better for yourself. And you also seeing your uh, performance and your performance yeah. ain't going you up. Your, you know what I'm saying? Them stats ain't up. Stats not going up. It's going to show. It's going to show. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to show. Sure. You guys eat anything pre-game meals but do you have anything specific to get energy or is it kind of just I do. I eat carbs. Like yeah. so pasta. Uh yeah, pa pasta, mashed potatoes and a steak all combined. Like, yeah. like that's like yeah, a like for a me, for me, me I, I'm because I'm 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 smaller, so I'm, I'm 175. They yeah. bigger than me, so yeah. like them boys, you know. And I'm eat my veg, I'm eat my greens, but I try to get gain as much energy as I can and unload on the football field as, as fast as I can when I'm out there because them carbs. That's where I get all my energy from carbs and greens. So I love I, I fill up on that before the game, and of course water. Uh, Gatorade. How important is hydration? I eat, a, I eat a lot of spinach before the game. Hydration? Raw spinach. You need that. I eat raw spinach. A lot of raw spinach. Before yeah, before the game. Wow. Like raw spinach and pineapples, strawberries. Man. Fill up on that. You lose out on a lot of sweat, so hydration is definitely key. A lot of stuff is sodium. I take right stuff. I don't know if y'all take that right stuff stuff. Right stuff. But it has a lot of, has a lot right of stuff, uh, cool too. sodium in it. Yeah, right stuff. But in terms of eating, before the game or even before practice, I make sure I eat a lot, a lot of calories. Yeah. So for me, I burn a lot of calories at rest. My metabolism is really fast. So at rest, I burn like 2,600 calories just at rest. That's yeah. That's so, great. That's insane. Yeah. yeah so, 
keep the other end of but that going. Like, look how much volume you got a lot of volume. Yeah. So, yeah. so I got to eat a lot because I feel like if I don't eat enough and I go out to practice, I got to burn something. I know a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of plays that, that can't eat before practice, but I have to eat before practice. I got to eat. eat before practice because halfway through practice, I burn, I burn like everything I ate halfway through practice. Yes. And I got to rely on like fast sugars and things like that. But like I said, these are all things that people think that we don't put into consideration. They just think we go out there and play. But there's so much more to it than just going out there and playing a game of football. Right. You got to take all of that stuff into consideration because you want to be at your, at your peak performance. And then like what he was saying, I feel like the other thing about being a pro is pros only make that mistake one time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They make a mistake, they learn from it. They don't keep making the same mistake over and over again because that's that separates that separates the good players from the great players. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. That's definitely good. That's a good point. So you guys heard all the chatter right here. Check it out. It's pretty sweet. As you can tell, we've had an incredible day of fitness, fun, and friendship. I'm Eric the Trainer, and we'll see you next time at Celebrity Sweat!